Today we are working with a group of fourth and fifth grade students. This was their fourth class out of eight and we're working them through the design process in a STEM-based class. STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. And a lot of that weaves into the work that we do as designers really well, so they often don't even really notice that they're doing math or doing science work. Did you notice how after our workshop we left the stumps out there and now the fort is a ton better because we mixed the stumps with the Lincoln Logs? Did you guys yeah, notice that? Yeah. So maybe we could look at not just more Lincoln Logs, but if we can add other things in that area that would help. Locally, when we have the access to the school, we'll do you know a number of workshops in a row and give kids a little bit of time to digest the ideas in between. We've also dropped into communities and done three intensive days with a workshop afterwards and kind of worked with the kids through that process really quickly. And we can do kind of a range of things depending on um, the project and the needs. first couple classes we had them measure out their site, working as a group to kind of get it all drawn to scale. We had them run a workshop, a hands-on workshop with the rest of their school to talk about you're not just designing for yourself, you're designing for your whole school community and the future students that will come through. So thinking beyond yourself a little bit and that was good. They grabbed a bunch of data and made graphs about what their school prefers and really tried to analyze that information before they picked the program of things that they wanted. I also like how you're starting to have grasses and trees over by your sandbox because this could be those things that they could pick. Today they were doing bubble diagrams, which is just a really simple way to start to get your ideas on paper. Organize the pieces, see how they would work together. And we brought the augmented reality sandbox today because we find that it really goes hand in hand with the bubble diagramming. Some kids don't see in 2D as well as 3D, so once we give them the, the chance to get their hands dirty and kind of move things around, and I think just that tactile experience breaks up the drawing well too and they can start to see and get new ideas from seeing their design start to come alive. One of the biggest things about this class specifically is working as a group and making decisions together. We work on a constructive criticism and ways that they can talk to each other about what they like about the designs and how to move things forward and how to do that together. So the first thing they want is water slides, petting zoos, and tree forts. Right? Because those things are awesome. So we talk to them about safety and we talk to them about universal accessibility and they really start to understand those pieces coming together and are able to weigh even budget constraints into their designs. And after the kind of series of, of classes, we're able to narrow the program down to a point where it's feasible. And then we have a top, you can either go around or you have a tunnel right here so the teachers can see you. The tunnel going underneath the fort, underneath the hill, and into the little reading area. That's awesome. The more we started to work with students, the more we figured out how good they are at working through the whole process. You guys did great work today. These are awesome designs and we'll pick them up next week and work a little bit more on them.